What's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we got a frog fishing video for you guys. I know how much you guys love frog fishing. It has to be probably my, my favorite way to catch bass. If you guys ask me like, Noah, what would you like to do today if you could just catch some fish and, and throw one bait? It would have to be a frog. Something about a frog bite is just so much fun. Throwing that thing on braid, throwing it in thick grass, and just catching some big bass on it is just all on out a good time. Got my man's Cody Yo. with us today. What's good, dog? What's good, dog? And we got all our tackle here in the back. We have a trap house, we have a jig box. We just filmed a jig video. If you guys wanna go check that out, you can go check it out down below. And then we have our frog box with all our frogs, which I'll show you guys here in a moment. And we have our frog rod. We're gonna be throwing this frog on a Mach 2 combo. Mach 2 reel and Mach 2 rod tied up here on braid. We're gonna be good to go from there. If you guys could drop some video ideas down below, like what do you guys wanna see and start liking each other's comments because you know, at the end of the day, somebody can drop a comment on a video that they would like to see from the channel. But if there's not a ton of people liking the comment, I'm not gonna know if that's a hot topic that you guys really wanna see. So drop some comments down below, interact with each other. I'd greatly appreciate that and it'd give us an idea on what to film over the next few weeks. You trying to get a head start, Cody? <laughs> Just a little bit, man. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> What you doing? Switching lives on my camera, man. Let's get it, dude. He's probably gonna smoke one right off. The, you see that boil? Can you catch one for the cam, Cody? You want me to? Let's do it. Ooh, oh, you had one. Yeah, I saw them right there. That's the thing, guys. With this pond, there's like so much of this nasty slop. What in the world? Oh, snap! Yeah. Dang, Cody. That guy. What you doing, man? You know, had to get it in while you're uh, while you're occupying the camera for me. <laughs> dude, he's such a little flopper. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little guy. Little hyper dude? Yeah. Nice. What a way to start it off. Nice, Cody. Thanks, man. You want to get a sexy release on him? Yeah, look at that bass. Oh, yeah, there is one. There's two. It's hard to tell with the glare on the water. Nice little fish. As I was saying, there's like a lot of slop, and so it's perfect for a frog out here. You got a ton of this grass, and also around this bank, got more grass, and then you walk down there, there's some more. So let's go ahead and rig up this frog on my rod, get the cast, and see what we can do today. I'm just excited, man. Every time I film a frog video, it's just, oh my gosh. It's just my favorite thing to do. If I can catch them on a frog, I'm having a good time. If I can catch fish in general, I'm having a good time, but on a frog, just a whole different level. Let's see what we got. So we have some greens up here, a little natural frog colors right up top. I like a little tannish. That was an interesting color. Very interesting color for a frog. Got some more of these natural colors. That could work good. We've got some whites and blacks, which is awesome. Then we have some mini frogs. I wonder if we try that out today. I've never really filmed a video throwing like a smaller frog. I think that could be cool. Then we got some of these pad perches down here. That's a black one. Got a white one. And then we have one standard, one of the juice, the juice color that I enjoy throwing. I think what we should do is probably put on... Since it's cloudy today, the sun's not out. I've had some good luck with a black frog. I think maybe we try this. Just a standard black frog right there. Ooh, hooks are a little sticky. I think we start off with this one. We might dig throughout this and find a different frog to throw, or maybe even come back and throw one of the smaller ones. I think that would be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and tie this one on our rod, this black one right here, see what we can do. Little pad perch. I know you catch some big ones, but it is time to cut you off. I am so sorry, but we got to do it. We got to do it. We might tie you on here in a little bit, bud, but we are going to put a regular black froggy on for the time being. Like I said, this is 65 pound braid, very thick stuff. You're throwing in some thick pads and thick vegetation. You're going to want some heavy braid. I'm just tying a basic uni knot. Very simple. Boom, 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 boom. Center down, cha-cha, cut our tag end, and we are good to go. One thing that I'm gonna do, and this is a great little talking point, every time I get a frog, you see how long those legs are? We're gonna trim these down a little bit. So I'm probably gonna take about an inch and a half off of this. Boom, there we go, just took that right off. Our frog is a little dirty now, but you can tell 
legs are a lot smaller there you don't want to trim them too much it's better to trim a little less that's probably that's perfect if i could have it maybe a little bit longer that would be good but that that is perfect that's how i usually like my frogs i like to trim down the legs i don't want them too long and uh the thing about when you have the long legs you can actually walk them a little better but as long as you don't trim them down too much that's usually what i do with my frogs you see this cody i don't know how much you see how I trim the frog legs? Trim them like a little bit shorter. On my frogs, I like cutting them down a little bit. Yeah. It can be a little easier for a fish to get it in its mouth and it looks a little more natural. If you have them long, you can actually walk the bait a little better, but usually I cut them. That's, that's just something I always done. Yeah. But you can still walk it pretty good. You see it in the water right there? Look at it twitching. Ooh, baby, look at that. This frog walks very well. This is just a little striking frog. Watch this get slammed right away. It looks juicy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, that was more than just a bite. That, that was insane. He's, she should eat it again. I didn't stick him at all. Oh my God. Dude, that was crazy, bro. I haven't fished this pond in like probably four or five months. Bro, that was wild. I can't believe you didn't eat it. These fish are acting like they're going to eat today. I don't know. We're, we're going to see real quick. I can't believe I missed that one over there on that tree. That thing destroyed the frog. But the thing is, I landed like on that grass. And I think he was coming up through the grass. He just didn't see it all the way. And that's what caused him to miss it. But one thing that I'll tell you is pretty obvious. Like when you come out of these places, I love when there's a mixture of vegetation and cover. So you got this vegetation all on top of the water and you also have these big lay downs. When that grass and the wood meets, there's usually gonna be some fish on it. So let's make multiple casts over here. I couldn't get that fish to bite again, but there's probably some more, more off these trees. Let's go ahead and start casting around and see what we can do. Up there in that shade, there should be a fish. Oh yeah, we should get slammed. Frog's kind of sinking. I think I got some water in it. Got some, oh, just squirted it all over the camera. Before we start walking this pond, I have a weird feeling about this black frog. Something about how that fish came up and he didn't commit. It's kind of keying me off in my head that I should change colors. I don't know. I, I just have a weird feeling. I think I'm gonna put on this pad perch right here. I've had a lot of luck with this color in the popping pickle. So I, I'm just gonna tie it on. The way that that fish came up for that frog and he totally missed it, it could be because of the color. You know, we talked about that in one of the recent episodes when we were top water fishing. And now we're gonna, we're gonna see if it actually works. We had some fish come up, not eat it. Now we're gonna tie on this color, it's a more natural color. And we're gonna see if that actually helps out the bite. See if these fish will be committing. I wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, that was 100% fish. I think that was a turtle that just bit me. Like pulled it down. I can't even see it. Oh. Dude, it's like they're not committing. Let's walk down this way some more. I'm gonna catch one right here. Feel it right there. One's gonna slam it. Oh, what just happened? I itched my ear for two seconds. Camera, it like boiled right next to it, like it missed, it missed the frog completely. Really? Gosh, that should be money. Did you capture that? Oh my gosh. I didn't see him until two. I thought it was a turtle, dude. And I like see him 
dart after it. I'm like, what? Dude, this is not what I need right now, Gator. You're, you're not really helping the cause. Come here. You're a big man. You can come here. Follow it to the bank. Yeah. I can't do anything. Look at how fast that thing is. That's actually terrifying. I think it's time to get to a new pond. This is rough. I think I'm gonna get one up and then, ooh. Trying to catch a lizard. I don't know, I was going for a squirrel, but. Oh, oh, dude, whoa. Yeah, that was a dangler, dude. He's right under me. Chupapi, chupapi, chupapi. Did he get it? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> so, guys, you know, <laughs> frog video is going great. You know, we've attracted some birds, turtles, and gators. There's no fish. Uh, threw in the same exact spot. Oh, my God. Yeah, that <laughs> bird just dies down and slaunches it. Oh my God. Oh, I got him, dude. I didn't even see him eat it. All right, thank God it's a fish. I thought it was a bird, dude. If I would've caught that bird, I would've felt so bad. Oh yeah, first frog bass. There we go. Took us a minute to get this video started, but second pond must be two times charm. Pretty bass, nothing big, but he ate it. Saw some boils up on the bank. Threw that frog, skipped it right up there. Wow. Thank you, buddy. Well, guys, we got the first fish. Get the, broke the ice right there. That's all we needed. Just get one. It's hard fishing from the bank over here because I can't like get under these trees how I would like to. And that was the first cast that I was like, you know what, that's, that's it. Oh yeah. He's a dangler, but that looks money, dude. No. <gasps> oh. Wait. You got him. He ate it when it was under the water, dude. That was crazy. That was insane right there. Oh! Hey, that counts, man. Does that count? In and out like a fast food restaurant. In and out like the drive through babe. Just in and out. Like, why did he not eat it? You know what I mean? <laughs> These fish are just not, they're not playing the game today. They're really not, they're just outsmarting me. So this was our second spot that we hit today. I have a few more spots in mind I think we can go over to and hopefully catch a fish. I can just really tell, you know, that these fish are not filling a top water today. They're not filling a frog. And I, if we were throwing anything else, I really do believe that we would catch a lot more fish, have a lot more bites, but. We're gonna go over here to this third spot, see if we can get them on this frog. If we don't, then I have a place in mind that I think we can catch some really big ones. So I think we'll go hit that place up, but let's go on to the third spot. Dude, I got him. Dude, that was so cool. That is what I've been waiting on all day, baby. He's not big, but that's what I've been waiting on right there. Gosh, he ate it good. Look at that. That's how you want him to eat it right there. Couldn't be better, right in the top of his mouth. Had him stuck in the tree and everything, got him out of there. Thank you for eating it. That's a beautiful fish, man. Look at those markings. They like goldish glare to them. Not a big fish, but 
<laughs> every time, you notice every time I lay them in my hand, they just decide to, I need to learn to not do that anymore because every time they just flop. That was awesome. That was bad. That was freaking sweet. The gill's all messed up too. It's not for me. See that? Gill's all messed up. It's a pretty bass though. He destroyed that thing right there on that lay down. I wonder if that's the one that bit me a second ago. All right, buddy. I'm gonna get you back in the water. Here you guys. Hate those gills messed up. What happened? Oh, oh, he's right under me, right under me. Pretty good one, too. I've never had to work so dang hard for some fish just to come off Reddit when you flip them up. That was a good two pounder. Oh my God. Oh, they, they, dude, dude, dude. Oh my gosh. That was crazy, dude. Three of them just fighting over it. Right here. Oh, dude, yes, dude, that was so cool. That was dope, dude. These fish are roaming today, guys, like in a big school. And you put that frog in front of them, they all start hitting it and they get a little aggressive. That is a pretty fish. Look at those markings, man. Look at those dang markings. Look at that little shiny spot on his head. It's a pretty one, man. Not a big one, but pretty bass. So cool. There it goes. That's a better one, dude. Let's go. It's so windy, guys. I apologize. I'm trying my best out here for y'all. Mm. Get up here, boy. Look at how he ate that frog. That's a good fish. Not a bad one. These things, crazy, man. Eating a frog in a wind like this, working it really fast. That's been the key today, not to slow this frog down, but to work it fast and that wind, and they're just eating it like a little bait fish. Look at that, dude. I like it. I like what we doing. Thank you, bub. There's one sitting, two sitting right down there. Unbelievably windy. That should be money, dude around that tree she gets slammed there he is this is crazy go from not catching them on a frog to catching them in the blazing wind on a frog that's just insane to me look at that indention that bass's head right there it's like something got him almost i fish ate it good too it's crazy guys like when you talk about frog fishing you don't talk about fishing a frog in the wind and we could not catch them when it wasn't windy and now it's windy i'm working the thing so fast and it's like just really getting these bass to bite they're not big but let me tell you any fish is fun to catch on a frog it's awesome we got all this wind moving up in this corner and they're stacked along this bank along that cover thank you bob so super windy there's another pond next to us and we've caught a good bit on a frog. You know, we've done what we could with it. But I'm actually gonna tie on a chatter donk. I'm gonna be putting a rage swimmer behind it. And we're gonna go out to this pond just for a little bit and see if we can catch a really big one because I've only been to this pond a handful of times and I've caught two fish that were around five, six pounds. And um, there's some big ones out there. So I'm like, you know what? Since we're over here, might as well tie us on a chatter donk. 
we'll walk over there and just see if we can catch us a big one end off today's video on so that's what we got right there let's walk out here and see what we can do it's noisy because people working out here but see if we can catch us one or two on the chatter dunk Oh my God, Cody, there's one on bed right here. So big. Dude, that fish is so big. I think they'll bite in a second. If they're on bed in here, dude, I almost say film another video out here. They're locked on bed, bro. That's crazy. Oh, that's a good one. Choked that chatterbait. Look at how he ate that thing. That's exactly how you wanted to eat it right there, boy. That is fun. Old chatter don't bite. Gotta love it. He ate that thing so good. Wow. It's one of the biggest fish today. Solid two. Two something. Thank you, buddy, for biting. Let me get your mama. Oh. Dude, that's a big one. Oh, my gosh. It's not that big in the world. It's a good one, not a big one. Eat that thing the same way. Look how fat and chunky that one is. That's a nice fish. Choked it. <sighs> Could have made it a lot easier on your buddy, but whatever. I think I should just go back, try to catch that one big one and call it. Please break me off, man. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gents, that's gonna conclude today's video. Oh man, I'm so upset about that. That was a freaking toad. I just broke her off. They're actually locked on bed. There's two of them sitting right there. And uh, I knew they were gonna eat. Caught those two fish, went back to it, and he ate it right away. And for some reason, it just broke my line. But I need to re-spool my rods. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We gotta catch some fish on a frog. Gotta catch a few on a chatterbait. And all in out was just a good day. Um, I wish it wasn't as windy because I know it's gonna mess with the audio on this video and I do apologize about that. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you guys were new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.